Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share for with you from November's Polish Pickup. The theme of the month is fairy tales. This, if you don't know, Polish Pickup is a monthly event that is all indie makers that get together and they contribute polishes based on a theme. And like I said, the theme for this month is fairy tales. So you'll place your order and Polish Pickup offers a flat shipping of $3. So you can make multiple orders and you're still going to ship everything for $3, which is amazing. But it's also limited edition. So the window for Polish Pickup is the first Friday of every month. And this month it's November 1st at 11 a.m. At Eastern Standard Time is when they open. And Polish Pickup closes November 4th, I believe at midnight. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so since it's a pre-order, makers will make everything that you order and then they get it together and then they ship it off to Polish Pickup who then ship it out to you. So to, because of this process, shipping will take approximately three weeks after, shipping will begin approximately three weeks after the sale ends. So let's just jump into it. So let's start off with 77 nail lacquers, polish called number 44. Number 44 is described as a black based jelly hollow with gold to orange to pink to purple to red multi-chrome pigments and copper sparks. The, I'm not going to go over the inspiration for each because I don't think I have enough time with these video clips, but I'm going to have my linked link I'm going to have my blog linked for you down below where you can read all about that. This is going to sell for $13 and have a 95 bottle cap. This just means that after 95 bottles sell, this listing will no longer be available. So if you want this one, be sure to go in for it first and grab it. The formula and application were wonderful. As you can see, it goes on really smoothly and evenly. It didn't run, pool, did not stain, and the removal on this is very easy. My swatches show you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is by Danny Vianna's Polish to the Moon and Back. To the Moon and Back is described as a gray Crelly vase with holographic and metallic gold flakes. This is going to sell for $11.50 and there will be 200 bottles available. The formula on this is wonderful. It starts off a little sheer, but it builds to opacity in just two coats. Uh, I didn't have any application issues, no running, no staining, no pooling. It self-leveled wonderfully and it removed easily. So my swatches are showing you two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Cupcake Polish and this polish is called I'll Never Grow Up. I'll Never Grow Up is described as a medium blue cream nail polish filled with pink, green, gold, blue, gold, green, multi-chrome flakes, um, this is going to sell for $13 and it is going to have no cap. The formula was absolutely excellent. It goes on really smoothly and evenly. It re removed easily. Everything you see in here is flake, so removal was a breeze. It is absolutely beautiful. I didn't have any staining with this. It is a pigmented blue, but I didn't have any staining. I always recommend a gloss, um, a base coat just because, you know, different people have different uh, effects with nail polish so just to protect yourself always use a glossy um, I'm sorry I'm watching the top coat application as I'm filming this voiceover always apply a base coat um, so this was two coats and a glossy top coat this next polish is also from cupcake polish and it is a topper and it's called rainbow fish the rainbow fish is a special effects topper that is filled with blue pink gold shifting iridescent shimmers blue pink gold iridescent flakes and a bit of holographic silver it is going to sell for ten dollars and there will be no cap i have it shown here one coat over bundle monsters stormy gray it looks wonderful over all different colors this one was the one i thought for my test stood out the most it also looked wonderful over painted polish by lexi's stamped in salt water I really, really love that one, but I didn't find that combination until after I did my swatches, so it'll be a little surprise for you if you have that one and you want to test it out. The removal's easy, and the formula is absolutely wonderful. This polish, this topper just glows, so you're going to love it. 
Next up is a duo from Cuticula, and it is their Limitless Top Coat and Mic Drop Base Coat. The scent for this duo is going to be Treasures Untold, and is described as a complex but amazing scent of sweet pineapple, Aussie berry, mango zest, tart passion fruit, creamy coconut milk, apples, peach, rose, yuzu zest, green apples, orchard leaves, and a musky nuance. First thing that gets my nose is the coconut and peach, I'm um, sorry, pineapple mixture. It's a very tropical smelling like scent. It really does make you think of summertime with the coconut and the pineapple, but then the uh, passion fruit swoops in and it really, really is a nice tropical scent. It's not overpowering and it's subtle, but it does last. This duo is gonna be sold for $16. It is only gonna be available for, as a duo. There's no caps, so you can get as many as you want. The nail art look that you just watched me do, I'm going to have linked in my blog in the description below so you can see all the products that I used. Um, Limitless Top Coat is very quick drying. It is wonderful. It is what I use for all my swatches, which I'm sure you've probably seen. It enables me to go really fast. I don't have to worry about bumping my nails into one another and messing everything up, which really is a disappointment, as you know. How many times have you gotten a pedicure and put your socks back on and you went home and they're messed up? Um, with Limitless Top Coat, I've never had that happen. I've also never had Limitless Top Coat shrink any of my nail polishes. It's never dulled any of my hollows. It's a wonderful top coat that you can use all around. Um, let's talk about my Drop Base Coat. My Drop Base Coat is wonderful. It is everything in one. You don't have to compromise giving up anything. It is a ridge filler, it is a strengthener, and it is a sticky for longevity. It gives you all the boxes. You're not gonna have to double up on base coats anymore, and you're not gonna have to sacrifice one for something else. It fills your ridges, it strengthens your nails, and it gives you a longer lasting manicure. Um, this, the ones you're gonna see in my photos, however, um, the manufacturer discontinued the, the one here, but Amanda went and she searched, and she found a, another one that is identical after testing it. She didn't see any differences, except for the fact that it does not have a green tint. Otherwise, formula-wise and longevity-wise, if she found it to be identical. So I just wanted to mention that here in case you don't read it in my blog. So next up is another product from Cuticula. This is a licorice black stamping polish. This is a one coat black cream that also stamps. It's wonderfully opaque. I have it shown here for you in one coat, and I believe I showed it on all four nails just because I was so in love with the formula. It's buttery smooth. I hate kind of saying buttery smooth because I hate just saying buttery. It's when it's talking about polish, but it's really applicable here. It goes on wonderfully. And even though it's very opaque, I don't have any staining whenever I use it. It comes off easily. Um, it self levels. It applies great, but the, one, the wonderful thing about this is it's a stamping polish. It is versatile. It can do everything, this polish. It picks up wonderfully. My next video that you're gonna see here is nail art. I did using the licorice black stamping polish. I used a clear stamper for this and because that's like my ultimate test. If I, I tend to have trouble with clear stampers, so if it works on a clear stamper and picks up evenly and opaquely, I consider it a winner, winner, and this one did every single time. It picks up wonderfully. It's a dream to work with this polish, and it is on my desk now 24-7. It is my go-to black polish. Um, my nail art look that you're seeing here, I'm going to have all the details linked in my blog, bef um, my blog, which is going to be linked for you down below, so you can see if you want to see what stamping polish I use, or stamping plate I use, or... Um, what the polishes I used were, uh, it's all going to be linked in the blog down below. This is going to sell for $10 and have no cap. I don't know if I said that before. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Next up is from Different Dimension, and this is There's No Place Like Home. There's No Place Like Home is described as a ruby red jelly polish with added gold, red, green color shifting iridescent glitters and holographic micro glitter. This is going to sell for $11 and there is no cap. The formula on this is very, very good. It goes on the nail smoothly and evenly. It really was opaque for a jelly. I was pleasantly surprised. It was uh, pretty much near opaque in one, but I go in for two just to add some depth and some color. My swatches show you two coats and a glossy top coat.
Oh, and I don't think I said this, but removal was easy. Those little micro glitters did not present a problem for removal. It wasn't difficult at all. Different Dimension is also contributing a second product, and this is their cuticle oil in the scent over the rainbow. This is, this smells like Skittles, guys, literally. It smells like Skittles, it's wonderful. It's not an overpowering skill scent, so you don't have to worry about it giving you, you know, if you're sensitive, you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna sell for $5, and there is gonna be no cap. I have my swatches here showing you what it looks like before. This is what it looked like when I applied it. I go a little heavy. And this is what my nails look like after. This product is wonderfully hydrating and it keeps your nails looking healthy. Next up is from Dreamland Lacquer and this is What an Awkward Situation. What an Awkward Situation is described as a deep purple base that's filled with scattered hollow flakes with a wash of multi-chrome shimmer shifting through shades of a green, purple, aqua, and blue. This polish is beautiful. My swatches do not do it justice. It is gonna sell for $12 and I have a bottle cap of 270 bottles available. So go in and grab this one because you definitely need it in your collection. The formula is excellent. It is just as beautiful as the polish looks. It goes on smoothly and evenly and everything in there is flakes. So the removal is also extremely easy. My swatches show you two coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Ethereal Lacquer and it is called Under the Sea. Under the Sea is described as a pale blue tinted base with a strong color shifting shimmer that shifts through copper, peach, and gold to a vibrant emerald. This is going to sell for $13 and have no cap. The formula is excellent. It starts off a little sheer, but I built it to opacity in three coats. If you have a stronger, or I'm sorry, yeah, three coats. Um, if you have a stronger nail line, you might still see your nail line through it because it is a little bit of a sheer to get that glow to it, but it is absolutely a beautiful glowy polish. Um, formula was excellent. I had zero issues with application. It goes on smoothly and evenly, no staining, no running, no pooling, and it removed extremely easily. So these swatches showed you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Jay Rain, Jay Rain, and it is called Meant to Be. It is described as a smoky lilac base with OG Unicorn P that has a red to green shimmer and flakes that shift red, purple, gold, and orange. This is gonna sell for $13 and have no cap. The formula is excellent. It starts off a little sheer on that first coat, and then I go in for a thicker second coat and then a thicker third coat to build to opacity. That's just how I like to apply these flaky polishes. I like the smooshy look more than anything, and I find that starting off thin and building works the best. This polish um, removed easily. I had no application issues, and I my swatches are gonna show you three coats and a glossy top coat. Coming up next is a Pixie Magic Kit from Jayreen also. It is in the powder called Destiny that shifts from green, teal, violet, and fuchsia. It is gonna sell for $15 and have no caps. It is gonna come with a five milliliter bottle of the Super Base, a five milliliter bottle of Royalty, which is a royal blue polish, and um, 0 0.30 grams is the powder. So this is a burnishing powder. What you do is you apply your nail polish, your top coat, your base coat, everything, wait till it dries. And then you apply a thin coat of the super base, which comes in the kit. Then when that dries after like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you go in and you burnish the powder over it with your finger or the brush that's provided. You clean it up. And then you apply your regular top coat. You don't have to use anything special with this. It is using all the products that you already own. And it, it creates a beautiful effect. This next polish is from Kathleen and Co. and it is called Kiss by a Frog. Kiss by a Frog is described as having an indigo base that's loaded with Aurora shimmers that shift from a pale pink to a purple, green, aqua, and blue. It is going to sell for $13 and have 170 bottles available. It has a wonderful, wonderful formula. It goes on the nail smoothly and evenly. It lays flat. Nothing in here is gonna be difficult to remove. I always recommend a glossy top coat, even though nothing in here is textured, just for that added shine and protection and longevity. 
Um, it is a wonderfully glowy and shifty polish. It is one of those polishes that no matter where you're holding your hand, you're seeing something different. It's beautiful. So here is three coats of Kiss by Frog and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Lily Pad Lacquer and it is called the Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal is described as a purple color shifting shimmer with multi-chrome flakes, scattered hollow, and a violet base with blue, green, gold color shifting shimmer with a purple, green, teal, blue multi-chrome flakes, lavender, micro, hollow glitter, and white chameleon flakes. It is going to sell for $14 and have a 200 bottle cap. This polish is gorgeous and it is very unique to my collection. I honestly don't think I have anything like it. The formula is wonderful, didn't have any running, staining. Um, it goes on smoothly and evenly, self levels. My swatches are going to show you three coats without a glossy top coat. The maker suggests that we let her polishes should be shown naturally and I accommodate her wishes. So this was two coats, or sorry, three coats and no top coat. This next product is from Moonbow and it is a frozen, it is a wax and it, it is called Frozen Spell. It is described as a bright wintry blend of fresh white currant, frosted juniper, fresh fallen snow, and brisk winter woods. What I smelled out of all of that was pine. To me, it reminded me of Christmas. Like, you know when it's Christmas time and you walk into a department store and you get all those wonderful like pine smells that just like envelop you in a hug? That was what I got with this. And it also had like a nice flowery scent. I have no idea what flowers are what, so I'm sorry I can't tell you what kind of flowery smell, but it was a very light flower smell that just kind of rounded it out and it was it smells really great it is three ounces it is gonna sell for six dollars and there's no cap this next polish is from pampered polishes and it is called under the sea under the sea is a sky blue base that has metallic rainbow glitter as well as holographic silver and holographic gold flex it is um, gonna sell for twelve dollars and there will be a hundred bottles available. The formula and application on this were was extremely excellent. I started off with a thin coat and built it up to opacity in three like I like to do with building thicker coats and I was absolutely elated to discover that this removed very easily. I love Crelly polishes but I'm the laziest person in the world and I do not like their removal so I tend to shy away from them but this one I wore it all night and when I went to remove it the next day it just removed normally. I was so thrilled and I absolutely love this polish. It is gorgeous and delicate and I love blue, so the sky blue color, just beautiful. This next polish is from Polished for Days and it's called That's How You Know. That's How You Know is described as a teal paste that's packed with pink to green shifting iridescent microflake shimmer. It is going to sell for $12.50 and have no cap. My swatches are going to show you two coats and a glossy top coat. I was able to reach opacity because my nails are, are were short at this point, so it only took me two coats, but if you have a longer nail or a stronger visible nail line, you might want to go in for a third. This polish glows and it shifts through so many different colors, it's insane. It never looks the same in, in different lighting. This was the first polish I put on one Saturday when I sat down to swatch and I was just so bummed that I had to take it off and continue, but it is a gorgeous. Just look at that glow. Up next is a, another topper and this is from Polished for Days and it is called Enchanted. Enchanted is a topper with pink, gold, green iridescent shifting flakes and gold flakes. It is going to sell for $11.50 and no cap. My swatches are showing you one coat over painted polishes stamped in wine. I love this combination because it reminded me of fall and crushed leaves. So I went with this purple. It is beautiful. It replied easily. As you saw, I didn't have to do anything. I just wiped it on the nail and this was its result. It's gorgeous and even. Removal was also very, very easy. Nothing in there dried, textured, or was difficult to remove. So that was one coat over painted polishes stamped in wine and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Quixotic Polish and it is called Flying Past the Stars. It Flying Past the Stars is described as an emerald green multi-chrome that shifts pink to pumpkin orange, blue, and purple. It is going to sell for $13 and have no cap. And no cap is exciting because this multi-chrome, I don't have anything like it. The shifts in this are insane. Go to my blog. I must have like 15 photos and they all look different. It shifts through so many different colors. 
I am in love with this polish. It is unlike anything I have ever seen before. Um, my swatch just, sh just showed you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is Have Courage and Be Kind from Rogue Lacquer, and it is described as an azure blue with magenta, turquoise, and purple color shifting flakes, a sprinkle of hollow flakes, and blue indigo shifting shimmer. It is going to sell for $13 and have no cap. The formula and application on this is wonderful. It starts off a little sheer, but I was able to build to opacity in three coats. You know, I like to start off thin and build with thicker coats as I go along for more of a squishy effect. The, um, I had no running, no pooling, no staining, and the removal was easy. Everything you see inside is flakes, so they lay flat and do not give you a problem upon removal. So this was three coats and a glossy top coat of Have Courage and Be Kind. And last up, but certainly not least to my vampy loving heart is from Supermoon Lacquer and it's called Be Big, Be Bad. Be Big, Be Bad is described as a holographic dark purple base that's filled with pink to copper and copper to green chameleon pigment, red to gold, and purple to green color shifting shimmer. With gold and violet shimmer, copper, gold, red, and purple sparks, violet and rose pearl micro flakes, iridescent blue to purple micro glitter, holographic gold micro glitter, and holographic silver micro flakes is going to sell for $12.50, and there is no cap. The formula, as you saw, was excellent. It was almost opaque in one coat, but I applied two. And removal is a very easy. Do not let any of the micro glitter words I said in the description scare you off. Nothing in here was hard to remove. It laid flat and came off easily. So that was two coats and a glossy top coat of Be Big, Be Bad. And that wraps up the November polish pickup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Remember to check my blog for any supporting information. And this goes live 11 a.m. on November 1st, Eastern Standard Time. Bye, guys.